should have a little bit of time with Madison. You need to come around here for this. And what do you notice? Where's north here? Right? Ah, red paint must face north, huh? White paint south. Hmm. So, what if I say... Earth is happening, huh? There's a secret, isn't there? Yeah. <laughs> Fridge magnet. And here you come to one of these things that with science and the class, you're dealing with invisible things. And so it's sort of, and it's so to get to deal with invisible things, you have to use thought to understand it. They should, for these to work properly, they need to, they should be free to move, you know, they, they should be, um, and certainly they're free to move, <laughs> but, um, they can't put, you can't, you watch this, it goes, it's, and then it goes back, 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 and gradually it settles down to point in, in one direction. Oh, that fellow's behaving himself. So this is the Earth's magnetic field. And that's a mysterious thing in itself, because it keeps changing. Over the, over the centuries, it keeps changing. Now, what I want to do, um, can this be put perhaps down on a table there, just Carry, carry this one over there. And even if we do this, you see, they still should face north. Um, I put this up here because I didn't want, you know, this has steel under here and that could possibly affect the results. filings. I trust that's what's in here. Uh, yes, if that can be turned on, please. Can you see? What am I not telling you? <laughs> oh, sorry. This should need, just like the other, we need to be. You can come and see. There's a, there's a pattern there. This is sneaky, this sort of thing. But, what I'd like, to, and it doesn't matter whether it's facing north or not, but you can have a look at that, look at the characteristics, you know. What's happening here? What's happening here? What's happening here? And out here? I do that, what happens? Right. Now, what I'm going to do, so if we put that aside for a moment,
here's another one of these things. Um, see, the very first magnets were found in a country called Magnesia, just north of Greece. So that's where they get their name. These modern things have been made so that they have quite intense forces um, involved in them. So what I might... Oh, we need a piece of paper to, to gather these, what's left over. Okay, we'll just put it on there. You may try and get rid of it, but it doesn't work that easily. and I realized what happened is hmm, didn't do it. Getting a tank, you can put these on little little saucers and they can float. They're not floating very easily. But... Oh, don't like you either. So you can see it. these mysterious forces, aren't they? And have a sort of can't see anything. <laughs> Isn't it? I mean, I can't. St my finger doesn't stop it. it. Goes right through my finger. So what I've devised here, <clears throat> I've got some paper. Sorry, it's A4 paper, not letter size. And I got a melted a few wax candles in a big flat basin, put it in hot water so it'd keep melted, and I dipped these down, and just so I know which side was which, I wrote wax on it. So this is covered with candle wax, and this little edge is made so it's the same height as that. Is that iron got a re can it reach as far as here? No. Uh, uh, what's that? Oh, that's right, yes, if it can go there, yeah. Um, no, not yet, we don't need a jack. Oh, sorry, just put it down. It can just go there, but it's uh, um, this one. See it happening? I'm trying to make it just so it's sort of, it's not going to sort of all fall in one spot. Oops, it is falling in one spot. Do you see again? Just trying to. Again, even if it comes down, it's drawn into a space like that. Now, the idea of what I have here is to...